This week, I'm going to answer one of the most common questions that I get on my channel. How do I pass a Microsoft exam and how do I get certified? Let's take a look. Greetings my fellow YouTubers, welcome back to the channel, Andy Malone, Microsoft MVP, as well as a Microsoft Certified Trainer. And if this is your first time at the channel, a very warm welcome and I really do appreciate you stopping by. Today I'm going to answer one of the most common questions that I get asked, as not just as an instructor, but also as a YouTuber as well, and it's how can I pass a Microsoft exam and get certified? And I thought, you know, okay, well, I've done sessions on this in the past. Um, you can check out my How to Get Certified um, presentation. And it goes through various um, processes and procedures that you can do. But what I thought I would do in this session is give you some really good practical advice. It's a short session, so please stick with me because I guarantee you'll find it of great value. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, we love subscribers here, so go ahead, click on that subscribe button, ring that bell up there, and you'll be notified of any new and upcoming videos. And as always, if you've got comments, questions, not just about this, but any of my other sessions, then just get them down below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. So, I think without any more jibber jabber, I think it's about time we get into this very short presentation. Let's take a look. So how to pass a Microsoft exam and get certified? Well, first of all, why become Microsoft certified? I think one of the main reasons is obviously the money aspect to it, but also there's the prestige aspect of it as well. Um, you're really pushing yourself down a solid career and it's definitely a marketable uh, qualification. Uh, and because there are so many different, I, I suppose, avenues that you could go, you could be a developer, you could be an administrator, you could be involved in infrastructure, uh, and so on. So there's lots of different tracks that you potentially could go for. So what's involved in a Microsoft exam itself? Well, typically, they're 40 to 60 questions. From my experience as a trainer, normally around 55 questions. That's what you tend to get in most exams. Um, they tend to last for 180 minutes, so three hours of which 30 minutes is designed for Q&A and things like that. Now, the passing score is 700 out of 1,000. So out of, let's say, 55 questions, you can probably afford to fail on around 18, 19, or something like that. Um, the 60 questions, them, or the questions themselves, typically carry a point. Um, so for every question that you get right, you'll get a point. If you don't ask a question, don't worry, you don't lose out on any points, okay? Some questions have multiple answers. And again, in that case, if you, let's say, you know, select the three best answers and you got two, you would still get the two points, okay? Um, I'd like to point out that it's more than just multiple choice. Um, so often you'll get things like build lists, like drop down lists. You'll get drag and drop answers. Um, and also you'll get what we call case studies as well. I like case studies actually, because case studies really get you thinking. And basically you'll get a number of different sheet tabs. Um, you'll get a little bit of background information and then you'll get questions based on those case studies. And the nice thing is the answers are always in the case studies. Um, now, in terms of the exam itself, the process, um, within that 180 minute kind of uh, allotted time, typically what will happen is you will go through different sections in the exam. Now, um, you can mark questions. So if you're not sure, you can mark a question and then come back to it. And at the end of that section, you can then review those answers. Um, I always maintain, you know, go with a gut feeling. Go with your gut. Um, you know, first impressions, you know, go a long way. All right. 
Um, preparation is definitely everything. So consult the Microsoft Learn resources. I'm going to go through in detail. Join a community. So, you know, Microsoft Tech Community is a fantastic community. And it's got lots of little subgroups in there, including study groups. So check out that. Um, take some practice tests. Um, consult the exam preparation guides and also build a study routine as well. Um, this is the first of them. This is the Microsoft Learn platform. This has gone on from strength to strength since it was launched around three years ago. Um, you, there are tons of free resources on here. So for example, if I just go to the search screen here and typed in MS100, it would provide me with lots of resources for that particular exam. A great place to start, by the way, if you've not taken any exams, is do the 900 exams. So SC2, SC900 is perfect for security. Um, MS900, perfect for Microsoft 365. And also AZ900, that's perfect to get started on Microsoft Azure. And everything that you need to pass the exam is in here. <coughs> <clears throat> now, once you pass the exam, obviously, um, oh, sorry. Now, once you've had a look at some of the training materials, you probably want to start think about practicing. And to give you an idea or a flavor of what the exam questions are like, this is a fantastic platform. This is MeasureUp. So MeasureUp.com It's piled out with um, practice tests and the exams that you do here are very similar to the actual thing. And they actually have a, a pass guarantee. Um, as I mentioned earlier, a study group is a fantastic place to not just meet like-minded colleagues like yourself, but also share ideas and practice questions. And there's lots of them. For example, All Exams is on Facebook. Um, many, if you go out and buy a book, they will typically have some study groups. And there's often online study groups when you buy courses, for example, as well. But there's nothing to stop you creating your own study group, of course. And there are tons of free resources out there. Um, one of the best pieces of advice I could give you is you need hands-on experience. And this is perfect. So Microsoft 365, you can go in, you can, you can do an online trial subscription. I do recommend the E5 subscription as it will give you access to every product. Okay. Um, you don't need a credit card. Um, one piece of advice I would give you if you want to extend the subscription by let's say another month you can do so so you can actually get 60 days but you would need to put in a credit card for that all right but you're not billed now with the Azure subscription you do need to put in a credit card to do a free trial but it's not it's not chargeable you won't be billed it's only for um, just to get you up and going and it's just for identity purposes all right. Beyond that, pay as you go is an option as well. Personally, what you could do, um, just a quick tip, um, you could create an email address so you can have one trial subscription per email. So, for example, if you used Outlook.com, just create a number of different email addresses and then you'll get not lots and lots of different trial subscriptions. But that's perfect if you want to create things like virtual machines, perfect if you want to try networking and if you're going for the AZ series of exams. Um, there are tons of free resources out there. This is the Microsoft Evaluation Center. And here, every single Microsoft product can be downloaded and you can actually get up to 90 days uh, free trial for many of these products. So just typically go into the Evaluation Center here and you know download a product like Windows 11 or Windows Server or some of the online, online uh, courses. You can see that you also have access to many of the online events here, including things like Microsoft Ignite, and often there's lots of 
hands-on labs here as well. So again, check out this, it's great. One thing I would say, of course, is be careful of this. Um, especially, you know, you've passed a couple of exams, you think you know it all, go into employers confident, that, but, but don't give them this. Um, they will see you coming a mile away, believe me. Know the tech, get your hands dirty, try those hands on labs, practice, practice, practice. Um, some of the best advice as well that I could give you folks is this. I think this is a great one from Johnny Depp. One day, uh, the people that didn't believe in you will tell everyone how they met you. Ignore the doubters. You're going to meet people in your career that are going to go, you know, you'll say, how was that exactly? Oh, it's really hard. Or, you know, you've gone through the fundamentals and then you're thinking about, should I go to the next level? Oh, it's really hard. It's not. It's just a progression. And as you progress through the different levels, you'll learn, you'll, you'll gain confidence. So ignore the doubters. Now, anyone who knows me, by the way, <laughs> knows that I'm a big um, uh, Star Trek Picard fan. And this was a great quote in last week's episode. Uh, Those who shine the brightest feel the sting of fear. Fear is fear. It doesn't speak in riddles. Fear means that you are smart. So don't be afraid to try. Okay. All righty. So then you can do it. Get into IT, Microsoft certifications. You know, there's lots of other tracks as well. So there's CompTIA security, there's CISSP, Microsoft, Adobe, lots of it. But I guarantee I've been in this line of business for 25 years. I guarantee it's, it's a great career path and the best of luck. Okay. So there you have it, how to pass a Microsoft exam and get certified. Look, I really hope that you found that useful. And as always, any comments, questions, or anything, feedback, I'd love to hear it from you. Not just about this, but any of my other videos as well. So just get that down below there. And if you've not subscribed, we love subscribers. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell and you'll be notified of new videos in the future. And I always do appreciate a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. It really does help my channel. Okay, so that's it for today. Thanks so much for dropping by, and I'll see you next time around. Take care. Hey, thanks so much for dropping by today. Here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy. And while you're here, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out.